guys welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time here my name is day and if you like these types of videos if you love lock videos hair videos hair journey videos go ahead and subscribe and join the family and for those of you who have been here my lovelies thank you guys so much for coming back to see me once again sticking with me all this time some of you have been here since the beginning which is crazy to think about, to be honest, because it's been a couple years and y'all been riding with me. So I appreciate you guys. In this video, we are going to be doing my two year visual journey talk through. And guys, it's taken me a while. Honestly, I turned two years, what, July? Usually I would have this type of video out immediately, but I did a visual lock journey at six months. And then I did a visual lock journey at a year. And I just, I don't know guys, I was not motivated to do the exact same type of video. And when I say the same type of video, I mean like slideshow voiceover type vibe because I feel like I did it before. And for me to just talk about year two from the beginning, I feel like most people when they want to see your growth, they kind of want to see the first year, like what your hair looks like every month type of vibe. And since I have that up already, I just feel like I don't want to do the exact same thing again, but a lot has changed and a lot has happened. So I kind of wanted to put in one video, like my entire lock journey and experience with pictures and, you know, video clips and things like that, whatever I have and kind of just really talk you guys through what my journey was like from the beginning to where I am now, especially because I have a lot more subscribers now. And I want you guys to kind of know, like, you know, my hair history, my hair journey. So let's start from the beginning. <laughs> so go ahead, girl, grab a snack. You can stick around, chat with me, and let's start from the beginning to now. A little bit about my hair history and my history in general. I was raised by my mom, and my mom worked really hard to raise me. But, you know, when you have a hardworking mom, a lot of times, um, they might not have the resources to learn how to do natural hair i'll say that so for the most of my like beginning life or most of my life all the way up into high school i had relaxed hair i had a perm and that was it it was either perm or braids mostly perm though um my hair never really grew like that i have very very delicate hair and very sensitive hair so the chemicals were just not doing it for me like my hair would not grow past my chin no lie like <laughs> the back of my neck like is where it stopped and my hair now is longer than what my hair was then like literally it just would not grow um it would just continue to break off like i think the longest it grew is i like kept braids in for like a year when i learned how to do them myself and my hair grew a lot and then i dyed my hair like blonde or something and it broke off all over again like i, I just did not have a good relationship with hair um from the beginning but i had always loved locks i loved looking at them i do have family members um who have locks i have a great aunt who has locks down to like her knees um she's had locks for years ever since i can remember so i've always loved them but i was kind of discouraged to get them um just because it just wasn't like as popular then and i i have mentioned this in videos before but i remember i was dating someone and i had mentioned to him like locks and he was like oh that's dirty like uh like i i had twists before and they were so dirty you shouldn't get those so i was kind of discouraged about it but like you know i still just kind of kept it in the back of my mind and um fast forward to college is when i was still you know perming my hair but after a couple years i decided to just cut it all off and like go natural <laughs> i think i went natural for like two days <laughs> and <laughs> then i had like braids again and then i had a friend who installed some faux locks so faux locks is how i started my first journey a lot of people ask that like what method did you use my very first journey this is my second my first journey i had faux locks in my hair um and that was kind of new back then not a lot of people was like doing faux locks like it was i was pretty you know uh, and because of that a lot of people thought that was my hair because i had it like shoulder length it was just like very natural looking but yeah it was just very like i loved it i loved it i think other people liked it on me and i became known almost for like having locks but the locks weren't mine so i felt like an imposter a little bit like some people are okay with that like and if that's you girl like do you if you can tell people yeah this is my hair even though it's not and you're confident and, and that's how you want to live great but i just wasn't like that type of person like i would feel guilty like people were like oh my gosh you have such beautiful hair but it wasn't my hair <laughs> so i probably kept the locks in for maybe like 
had to be like nine months. It was like a long time. And then I cut the locks out. And of course, you know, since I had, my hair had been growing out and I had been retwisting it, my roots were locked but the ends of my hair were not so i started off that journey kind of weird it was like locked at the roots and then loose natural at the bottoms and it looked kind of weird but i loved it like it was so me i felt like i just i don't know it just really felt like me it was really short it was really all over the place there was really no like parting system made sense none of that i just woke up one day and was like today's the day i'm gonna just wear my natural hair my my new locks and people loved it like you know i loved it that was the most important thing but other people received it well and from that point on it was just like that's me like i just grew my hair out i had my locks for i usually say like four to five years because i wasn't really counting back then so i think by the time i cut them off they were like five years and they were pretty long and of course i'll have pictures but um yeah, that was the longest my hair had ever been. And I, I think I had an okay relationship with my hair, but even then in that moment, I really did not know how to take care of my locks that well. Like I, I could just look back and think about all the things that I did wrong. Like I was just putting leave-in conditioner in it. Um, Literally, I wasn't spraying it with water. I was literally putting like stuff from the beauty supply store that I found. Wasn't really natural in it, um, like gels, creams beeswax everything that is supposed to be like oh this is for locks use this at the beauty supply store that's what i was using in addition to other stuff and i think at the time i was still putting like some chemical on my edges in the very beginning not like when my locks were mature but in the very beginning when i had the full locks i feel like i was putting like texturizer on my edges still i was young guys and i had a lot of growing to do <laughs> honestly but I say all that to say I didn't take care of that set that well and by the time like five years came I was just I was I was done with it like my husband could even tell like you really don't care about your hair anymore it was just time for it to go and I felt like I was a new person then and I just needed to cut off everything that my hair came with um and I know that may seem a little deep to some people but I'm a very spiritual person and I just felt like Along with that hair came a lot of experiences, some good, some bad, and um, it's not that it was weighing me down or anything, but I just really felt like it was time to let that go, you know? So that's what I did. I cut that, let it go, and also I just wanted to see what my natural texture was like. So I wore my natural hair for a little bit. I wore a very short cut, and I loved it, y'all. Besides locks, the short cut was like, that was it for me, okay? Like, I loved it. It was so cute, so me. And, um, like, yeah, that was really nice. I dyed it, but it was just hard to, like, maintain. So, like, you know, I just had to, <laughs> I had to grow it out because I was asking my husband to cut my hair, like, all the time. Like, literally every couple days I was asking him to cut it. Because it's almost like your hair never really grows fast until you wear it short. And then all of a sudden it grows out fast. That's what was happening. So, I decided to, like, grow it out have a little fro i never really wore it natural like that um but i was able to see my texture and figure out what works and then i got braids for like maybe a year and then i locked my hair again it was time i had my daughter she's two now um and in that year i like finished my master's program and i was like after i'm done getting this degree i'm gonna lock my hair and i'm gonna start my youtube channel and that's what I did. I was very inconsistent on YouTube at first. I think I posted like two videos that fall, like literally maybe two or three. Like I was not really doing much until the following year. But I did start my locks and I loved it because I felt like this time I could start it the correct way. Like I knew more, like I knew what I was doing. There's more information out there and I had more experience. I started it myself. Um, so I had braids, right? And when I took the braids out, I kept the parts, the parting system from when I had braids which I parted myself because I did my own braids, but um, pretty much I just put two strand twists in my locks. I made 52 of them. Um, and yeah, I just went on about life just like that. Um, you guys will see the beginning stages. If you've seen my previous like lock, visual lock journeys before, you've seen like how my hair was in the beginning. I'll insert more pictures, but it was easy the first couple months. And then I always say to everybody, month four will give you, month four is going to take you, it's just rough. Like month four is rough. Everybody says it. Literally, like when people DM me and 
they say like oh i'm having like a really rough time i started this journey but it's just like my hair is looking crazy it has me feeling crazy i always ask like what month are you on they always say month four i promise you like always so that was probably the hardest time for me um and then like after i got through that like you know really i wouldn't say rough stage but just challenging stage it became easier because i just got used to it and a lot of the styles that i would do was just pinning my hair down like this and putting it down like you know on the sides or i would wear wraps and that's what i did for like the entire first year guys that's how i got through it um and it went by really fast. I know if anybody's in their long journey now, it seems like it's moving super slow. It, you know, it'll pass. Like that first year, you only do it once. <laughs> and once it's done, it's done. And yeah, it took my hair probably about um, five months to lock. And for the, the two strand twist pattern to like be completely gone, it took over a year. So that didn't happen for a long time. Um, So from year one, to year two i guess where we are now i didn't do that many updates because um i just didn't think that i needed to like i didn't do month to month updates but my hair did change a lot um now i will say that i did have some challenges because during this year i also went through another pregnancy so you know for those who have been pregnant you know like it can really hit your hair like pretty hard um so in year two i was kind of dealing with that and trying to grow my hair out i did dye my hair um once in the fall and i loved it but it didn't last that long <laughs> um but i was just battling you know trying not to have my hair like thin out and stuff that was like the the majority of it and a lot of people would tell me like my hair is growing in the videos i really did not see it guys like i really did not a lot of people are like your hair is like sprouting like wow and maybe it's because they watched my really old videos and then came to the present ones but i felt like it was growing super slow really um and for the second year i was still wearing wraps a lot when i didn't need to and when i say when i didn't need to it's like i could have very well wore my hair out every day i just really did not feel like maintaining it and i would go through phases of neglect and you know really caring about it and then neglect again so i say that to say like it's not just like you know over once the first year is done and you just live happily ever after with your hair there's always going to be challenges in a sense of like you know you're battling just trying to you know get through it with your hair i never had thoughts of like cutting it or anything but i would just you know just not be into it and i know that sounds crazy but i, I was so focused on other things that i really wasn't focused on my hair and your hair can almost like feel when you're nurturing it um that's how i feel anyway but after i had my baby after i had my son i feel like things got a lot easier because i just didn't have the stress the physical stress as much and i was able to really focus on my hair and i was also able to rest you know mentally um so the things that i was really focusing on was drinking a lot of water i don't drink um juice pretty much ever like i don't even buy juice um and that's easy for me because you know i like other things <laughs> but i don't i try to like really drink a lot of water and i feel like that helps your hair um and i try to kind of like stay consistent with my moisture routine because i did dye it and i feel like now my hair has finally gotten back to the point where the dye is not affecting it as much like the dye was affecting it for a while coloring my locks really kind of affected it but i feel like i'm finally at the point where they're like healthy and full and like flourishing again and now i'm just working on getting my edges together because the postpartum like it was pretty rough i mean i'm glad that i have like the ability to like lay them down and stuff so it's not as noticeable but i was this summer wearing my hair like you know and pony sells a lot so when I hit year two, I was like, yeah, I really have to like crack down. So here I am <laughs> in year two. And um, my main things is just like being patient. I really do like styling, but I'm going to cut back on the styling as well. Because I've been addicting to, addicted to these little like two strand twists. I feel like in year two, like I kind of started off like, all right, styling a lot. And I'm really going to calm that down and just focus on just maintaining the health, maintaining the consistency and everything like that so this is where we are this is my hair journey of course you guys if you have any questions drop them down below but i'm pretty much here to encourage you guys like i don't have to do 
YouTube. <laughs> I do YouTube for fun and I do YouTube because I wanna encourage you guys, um, especially like women out there who are starting their journeys, that it's possible. Um, it's possible if you're a girly girl like me and you still want to look super girly and you want to have locks, that's possible too. Um, and just just in any realm, like it's possible to be professional with locks, it's possible to just do anything and still go through your lock journey and be happy about it. So I'm working too, just like you guys are working. I wanted you guys to know that and um, hopefully you guys will continue this journey with me as i document everything i don't know if this will be my like final journey you know what i mean like one day i might very well cut this set and start another set in the future i really don't know um but yeah this is where we are thank you guys so much for joining me being a part of my journey and a part of my life to be honest i appreciate you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye